All right, everyone, let's dive straight into what's rapidly shaping up to be an uncompromising, hard-hitting winter season across the United States as I track the latest forecast models tonight. The signals are crystal clear. A powerful cold pattern is forming fast. It's not one that'll retreat easily. If you've been craving authentic winter weather, brace yourselves. It's arriving early, aggressively, and unapologetically. Just take a look at the temperature anomalies. Those deep blues and purples cascading southward out of Canada. Mark the true Arctic air already in motion. By the time we close out October, that frigid mass will be draped across the northern tier of the nation. We're talking overnight lows. It's plummeting into the 20s across the Midwest and Great Lakes, and even the upper teens in a few pockets. Chicago, Milwaukee, Minneapolis, that early chill means business. Widespread frost will settle in, and yes, a few of you might even witness your first snowflakes before Halloween. Once that cold front anchors itself, the setup becomes fascinating fast. The jet stream buckles, carving out a sharp temperature divide, polar air to the north. Milder air to the south, and right along that volatile boundary lies our storm highway for the coming months. November won't waste any time. Expect back-to-back low-pressure systems forming over the central U.S. and tracking northeast, delivering rounds of accumulating snow to the northern plains, Midwest, and interior northeast. Cities like Des Moines, Minneapolis, Green Bay, and Detroit could easily stack up multiple 6-12 inch events before Thanksgiving. That's a roaring start, and when you pair it with this deep freeze setup, it's reminiscent of the legendary winter of 2013, the kind of season that doesn't just arrive early. It refuses to leave, by the way. If you'd like specific forecasts for your region or city, drop them in the comments. I'll reply individually as time allows. And if you're enjoying the update, hit that like button and subscribe. It really helps the channel grow. Now, as we turn the calendar into December, this pattern locks in tight. The Arctic air dominates nearly the entire country. With a persistent trough parked over the central U.S. highs struggling to escape the teens and K. 20s from the Dakotas through the Great Lakes, while snowpack thickens across the plains. The Great Lakes region. It's going to be hammered Buffalo, Cleveland, Erie, your ground zero for those classic lake effect snow events. With lake waters still relatively warm, the surge of Arctic air streaming overhead will ignite those snow machines like clockwork. Some bands could bury regions under several feet of snow per event. By mid-January, I wouldn't be shocked to see totals near or exceeding. 90 inches around Erie or the Chautauqua Ridge near Buffalo. The kind of season we haven't experienced in a decade. And it's not just the Great Lakes. The Northeast is primed for a true snow season. Multiple coastal storms are on the table, and when those sink with Arctic air, we get the heavy-hitting nor'easters. Boston, Hartford, New York City. Your odds for a major snowstorm this year are far higher than recent winters. Boston could finish near 70 inches, New York around 35 to 40. And inland areas like Worcester or Burlington might push 80 to 90 inches by March down. Shifting our focus westward, the Pacific side of the country tells a different but equally dramatic story. The jet stream pouring in from the Pacific is supercharged with moisture. And as it collides with that entrenched cold air over the mountains, it's going to unleash a barrage of storms. The Cascades, the Northern Rockies, and especially the Sierra Nevada are shaping up for an exceptionally snowy season. Forecasts suggest snowfall totals reaching 150% to 180% above. It's normal across much of the region. A truly remarkable setup. That means Seattle and Portland will endure plenty of chilly. Rain-soaked days with the occasional low-elevation snowfall. While the higher elevations near Mount Rainier and Mount Hood could find themselves buried under several hundred inches of snow by February. Farther south, the Sierra Nevada is on pace for a massive 400 to 500 inches by late winter, a dream come true for skiers and snowboarders. But a daunting challenge for truckers navigating those mountain passes. Get ready, because the next few months will be intense. Now, let's head down south, because even the southern states are being drawn into this powerful setup. This isn't one of those years where the cold air stays locked up north. The jet stream dips deep toward the Gulf of Mexico, creating the perfect recipe for those classic southern snow events. Alabama, 
Georgia. And the Carolinas could each experience two or three legitimate winter storms this year. Nashville, Charlotte, and even northern Alabama may see snow totals well above average, with several inches of accumulation possible. And yes, there will likely be icy conditions in areas that rarely face them. Think back to 2013, when the south briefly turned into an ice rink, the dynamics are strikingly similar. As we push into January, as the heart of winter tightens its grip. The cold deepens, the snowpack across the Midwest and Great Lakes thickens. And those storm systems keep riding that same storm corridor again and again. Fargo, Bismarck, Minneapolis, expect daytime highs in the single digits and nighttime lows plunging to minus 20 degrees Fahrenheit or lower. Especially when skies clear after a major snow event, the Ohio Valley stays active too. Columbus, Indianapolis, and Pittsburgh could tally 40 to 60 inches of snow by February, far exceeding typical seasonal averages. Each system that sweeps through will recharge the cold, reinforcing that deep freeze again and again. And here's where things get fascinating. February doesn't look like it's offering much of a break. Normally, we'd expect a mid-season thaw, but the latest model runs suggest another surge of Arctic air late in the month. That means the snow cover stays firm and the pattern could even re-intensify, delivering another burst of winter storms as we edge toward. March. If you're betting on an early spring, don't. This winter looks colder, longer, and snowier than normal across nearly the entire country. For the Midwest and Great Lakes, it could rival some of the strongest winters of the past decade. Chicago, 60 to 65 inches of snow Detroit, around 70 inches. Cleveland, near 90 inches Minneapolis, possibly 80 plus inches if the systems align, just re-expect weeks on end below freezing, especially across the upper Midwest. Out West, ski country gets buried. The Rockies and Sierra Nevada will be blanketed under massive snow totals. The East Coast braces for multiple nor'easters, and even the South sees more winter weather than it's used to. And here's the kicker. It all starts within days. That first major Arctic surge is already building north of the border, and by the end of this week, it'll plunge deep into the central U.S. Expect widespread freezing temperatures from the Dakotas to Kansas and Missouri. With flurries possible across the Great Lakes by Halloween weekend, this pattern sets up fast and locks in strong. Once it's in place, it's not breaking anytime soon. So, here's your takeaway. Prepare now. Check your heating systems. Get your winter gear out. Stock up on essentials, because this winter isn't creeping in quietly. It's charging in early and striking hard. The cold will be sharper, the snow more frequent in the season longer than most of us have seen in years. If you've been waiting for a true winter, this is it. I know if you've been hoping to avoid one, you might want to start planning that southern vacation. Either way, this one's going to be unforgettable. If you'd like personalized forecasts for your region or city, leave them in the comments below. Or reply individually as time allows. And yes, commenting is completely free. Thank you guys. See you next video.